What's up everybody, Avignon here with week 4 of Fortnite Season 8 and they once again added two characters for us to do, each of them having two quests and I think that that's what they're going to do from now on, two characters every week. You know, the second week was supposed to be two, but I guess it glitched the derby one, so we're gonna fill out this once. The one missing should be the derby character that is glitched still. So, probably two characters every week. So, six weeks left, about. So, 12 characters will be added. We'll see. Oh, yeah, I forgot to explain this last week. I only talked about it in the middle of the guide because I found out they changed this last week. So, remember that you could start the challenge on regular mode and then we, we go to Team Rumble. And the challenge doesn't show on Team Rumble, but you can con continue the challenge you started on regular mode so they changed so you can't do that anymore so now if you start a challenge on solos or regular mode whatever you have to continue that challenge on, on regular mode if you go on team rumble you can start the challenge again but you have to find the right payphone with the right character it's a pain in the ass so yeah you, you have to stick with solos or team rumble so good luck with that you can keep trying to find the right character on payphones if you want or you can go straight to the character on reg regular mode okay so we got raven here and night hair Okay, so Raven is located on Hydro 16, near Sludgy Swamp. So we got Raven here, right outside of Hydro 16. Sells Railgun, rare Railgun, and activate Rift. Stage 1, destroy Sideway Rocks. So Sideway Rocks are the purple ones, or pink. I'm gonna try to go here, this alien crash site. You can also go here. So are these the rocks they're talking about? I don't see. Oh, these ones, maybe. No? What? Sideways rocks. Oh my god, wait a second. So I I didn't read the the description right. Sideways rocks. So are these ones right inside the sideways or inside the anomalies, which I'm so far away. So here we go. This is a sideways anomaly. So I'm not sure if it's gonna work. You gotta be lucky to have rocks in it, and it doesn't work. Look at that. Oh, wait, wait. Are they talking about these rocks? The spawners. Oh, God. Did they even do it? Um, I feel like the zombies are destroying it. There you go. So the zombies were destroying it. And I have to take it. Yeah. So it's... You know, not, not just any rock. It's the rocks that show up in the sideways thankfully it counts for anomalies not just the actual sideways what else stage two launch from a corruption vent in the sideways so here you go corruption vents are only on the sideways they're not going to be found on anomalies so these are the corruption vents you can't do this on team rumble since it doesn't involve Cube monsters. So stage three, eliminate cube monsters in the sideways 15 seconds after gliding. So we're gonna use the vents once again to glide. So you can see you can glide even on regular mode. We're gonna glide and on the cube. That's free. Did it count? There you go. Pretty easy, only doable on regular modes because zombies are not available on Team Rumble. Stage 4, get headshots from above. Let me see if I can do this against the zombies since I'm already here. Jumping. Oh. Beautiful. 
There are only two, doesn't matter the damage you do. Once again, in last stage, stage 5, destroy chests with the harvesting tool. So I want to test this out. I want to see if I can just destroy the... There are no chests here, that's looking great. I'm just going to try with this one. I need you. Let's just do this. It didn't take as many hits as I thought. I was gonna try to destroy the floor. And there you go. Really easy. Since these these chests are always here on the sideways, it's very easy to do them. So let's go to the next character. Night hair is located right here near Karaga Cliffs. So here we go, Night Hair. What is the name of this landmark? Let's see. You activate rifts. Bounce stage one. Bounce three times on tires without touching the ground. So you can find tires in almost any gas station. You can find them loose. Or you can find them already placed. If you, if you find a loose tire, you can just throw it in the ground and you can bounce off of it. Which is probably what I'm going to do right here. So I'm going to this gas station because I want to do something later. But you can go here, which is way closer, this gas station. Also here, apparently there are tires. Craggy Cliffs also has tires. But anyway, hopefully we can find one here. So there are no loose tires, but obviously there's the this one. Let's just do it. You got it. If you find tires. Oh harder than it seems, guys. Way really hard. There you go. So if you find loose tires, just throw it in the ground. It's gonna become that pile, okay? So stage two, use an alien pad in an alien crash site. So you can go to this one, which is closer, but I'm going to this one because the last stage is gonna involve the sideways. Also, the fourth stage is gonna involve explosive uh, grenades. So try to find the grenades in the meantime, okay? I have explosives, I found the grenade launcher. I wonder if it counts. Hopefully it does. So uh, if, you, if, if you want to do all the quests in one go, try to plan yourself to go to the alien crash site that is closest to the sideways. So the alien, the jump pad is this one. Last week I said this was the jump vent. I was wrong, clearly. So I'll just, there's one, there's a bunch of them on each alien crash site, easy enough. Stage three, traveling in alien slipstream for a hundred meters. So the slipstream is this pink thing. So very easy, once again, thankfully they're giving us the quests just one after the other really close together so there you go you can do this on team rumble stage four damage an opponent with a grenade i'm gonna try to find a grenade right now because i don't know if this grenade launcher is gonna count and also i f uh, i'm in the storm i'm gonna try against uh, cube monsters. It probably counts. Ooh, grenade. So let's try the, the grenade launcher first. See if it counts. You just need to damage. Oh, this is the shockwave grenade. So it definitely doesn't count. Well, that's great. So let's just do a grenade. Thankfully, I found one. Just 25 damage. That should have been enough. Oh, there you go. I thought it wouldn't count. So stage 5. Get an explosive elimination on a cube monster. 
in the sideways. So we're already here. We have the grenade. This is not a grenade launcher, it's a shockwave grenade, so it doesn't count. Try to throw the grenade on the small zombies. Because these big ones, they are too strong, it's not gonna count. And there you go, really easy. Stage 5, Night Hair. And that's it for this week, Fortnite, week 4, season 8, cubed season. And we'll see you next week for the next two characters, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and use code Avignon. See you next week.